hello before this video starts i just want to do a quick dis disclaimer to say that the whole of this gig was recorded by dave and he actually put it on his youtube channel so i've put a link in the description and as i'm saying this this is um probably a week after the gig yeah it's one week after the gig to, uh, one week and a couple of days it's up to twenty one thousand views which is absolutely insane <laughs> We haven't played together in a year <laughs> properly, no rehearsals, turn up and play. He puts it on his YouTube and up to now it's got 21,000 views. Mind blowing. So yeah, please check that out. If you want to see what this um, this vlog is referring to, it's nice to actually have a bit of gig footage. So I'll put a link to that video in the description. So if you want to check it out, please do. Cheers. Hello, Saturday today, just about to go and do a gig with Dave Simpson, just loaded the car, really, really excited, can't wait to see him again, so I'm going to go nice and early so we can have another catch up, have a bit of a chill out, try and play some music or something, or just have a chat, it'd be nice. I've had a nice chilled out couple of weeks, I had two weeks off teaching, just coming to an end now, and I've had one week off pretty much totally other than this gig today, where I've tried not to do any recording or anything, just been practising, it, but nothing too serious try to have a bit of time off and unwind so which means I've which means I've done loads of driving I've had loads of nice little days out with Diane been to Blackpool on one of the days and then we've just been to Chester Zoo which was amazing might I might splice in some animals here because I took some uh, recordings or some yeah I'll do that a bit of animal um what else have I been up to that's it really just just been relaxing enjoying it and a lot of admin work because i'm getting ready to teach back in the schools and stuff i've had to sort out all my timetables all my invoices all the stuff that isn't glamorous that you never get to see uh, because it's it's not cool but it's something that probably most musicians have to do we have to do invoices and things paperwork bookkeeping all the stuff that feels like a normal job that you try and put off as long as possible but it's all worth it because now i get to do gigs like i'm going to do today full drum kit this time so i'm really excited i haven't played on kit with dave for quite a while so it'll be really nice to be able to jam out and uh, go a bit crazy i've seen that he's posted the pedal board that he's using so it's going to be a lot of fun i think he's going to go crazy as well and the trouble is this may be the last gig that we can do for ages the uk government have just put in a new thing where there's only you're only allowed six people only allowed to be with six different people or something um, and they haven't really made the guidelines very clear, so it's a little bit unclear whether whether in indoor gigs are allowed to happen still or not. Uh, the Musicians' Union just said that they should be able to, but I don't think they're sure, to be honest. So we're just waiting for Monday to get a little bit more clarity, and it's Saturday today, so this could maybe be the last gig for quite some time. So we're going to go out with a bang and uh, play amazing. This gig's great. It's in a massive garden, and uh, it's a lot of fun. It's called Cogfest normally. It's uh, organised by some lovely people. It's always so much fun to play. We've played it for years, uh, me and Dave, and it's going to be a right laugh. Oh, and I've got to do something else as well. I've just remembered what I've got to do. Right, back in a sec. Now, the reason I just had to rush back into the studio, I was just doing my little vlog, little intro, getting it together, telling you what was happening, and then I suddenly remembered... Me and Dave had a massive conversation last night uh, where I sent him a funny picture of Johnny. Johnny is Dave's brother. Dave Simpson, his brother, plays bass for the band and I haven't seen him in ages. Um, so we're always trying to get him to machine gun the crowd because it's not his style at all with his bass guitar. <laughs> for a laugh. Which never happens. But last night I found a picture of Bootsy Collins and... Uh, in my haste on my phone terribly added it to what am i saying i added johnny's face to bootsy collins body um and i showed david he thought it was hilarious so now i'm going to print one off and stick it to my bass drum for the gig tonight and see if he notices <laughs> i'll show you what i did look at that <laughs> So I'm going to print that off and stick it to my bass drum and uh, see if he notices. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. So mature. But it'll be a laugh, won't it? Imagine your face if you turn around and see that while you're trying to play bass. It's going to be brilliant. 
Dave will love it. Right, I'm going to go and print it now and then I can finally leave for the gigs. I've got to do the important stuff first. Coming the truth. Oh, it's not quite so colourful. Oh, yes, it is. So good. Oh, it's full A4. <laughs> oh, so happy. Perfect. Find a little shop does a nice little ice cream. Very nice. Oh, other than the cars. This is my drum kit. That, that's a snare. This is the snare drum. It's a 19 pounder snare drum made by uh, Perspex. That I think is, uh, that's the big banging thing. This makes a shush noise. That's, that's the best drum on here. That symbol there, I rely on this in a certain song, especially blues. Blues is good for this, this uh, symbol here. Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, uh, this this is where you put your records for when the DJ arrives. You you put it on there and you, you spin it like that, and you start start doing all the scratching. It's brilliant. It's great fun. Um, that's that's where all uh, the food is because uh, it's a it's a hungry job. Um, don't know what they are. Uh, wooden things. Uh, I think this is for a fire later on when we uh, sacrifice the witch because, you know, that's what you do. Uh, this one's got holes in it because it's made of cheese. Uh, I don't know what kind of cheese it is because it's got holes, but it's a cheesy symbol. You can't hit it too hard because it just disintegrates, but it makes a good snack if you get hungry. And uh, that's uh, where you put your hand to keep it warm. And uh, I think that's, that, that's all right, isn't it? That, Perfect, that, thank right? you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How do I stop it? <laughs> Is it still recording? And there we go. Perfect. Wonder if you'll notice. Hello, and today is Sunday. I'm tired again. Sorry. Every video I seem to be like, oh, I'm well tired. Uh, but I got in at half one last night after the gig with Dave. And I was up at half past five going to a car boot sale this morning. Which was fun. It's cool, I was, and I went to a car boot the day before as well. So I've done a lot of uh, a lot of driving around, a lot of early mornings and late nights. But it's good, I wouldn't change, I've really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed the week off. Absolutely loved the gig last night. It was so much fun to play with Dave again. Um, I didn't get any footage, I don't, no, I didn't get any footage, I definitely didn't. Uh, because Dave was recording it, I don't know what he's gonna do with it, but if, if he uh, uploads it to one of his YouTube channels or something, I'll add a link in the description and let you know. He's put out one of the clips today from last night on his Instagram, so if you want to check that out, his Instagram is at Dave Simpson 1986, I think. If that's wrong, I'll put a little subtitle there. 
but hopefully it's correct. But yeah, a lot of fun, really enjoyed it. Been back at the studio today, packed my drums away, been messing about, and uh, just recorded one more linear lesson. So you may hear, I think it'll be number four, you'll hear how tired my voice is. <laughs> I just came in here quickly to record it, and then I'm going back home, and I just bought a new turntable, so I'm gonna get that hooked up today as well. So I'm excited for that. I've been buying loads of cool vinyl recently. I'm really into it again. Some great music. So, yeah, looking forward to that. Great weekend, really. Nice week off. Really relaxed. Really good. Excited to be back teaching at one of the schools next week and then teaching one-on-one -on -one in person. I'm going to come in in a couple of days to sort the room out and get it COVID-proof ready for my private students. So excited to be back and see everybody again properly. It's really cool it's you know I've got the best job in the world and it's been weird having to do it online so I'm really excited to do it and then we'll have to see what happens with live gigs in the future it's not looking good it's not looking good hopefully there'll still be some kicking off and we'll see when the government gives a bit more clarity tomorrow I'll keep you updated on that so maybe the last gig vlog for a while which I think is why Dave recorded it last night um, but yeah, there should be some exciting news coming in the future with everything else that's happening and the Calm project That's got its release date now in October. And I'll keep you updated with that as well I'll let you know how you can hear that album It's uh, near, nearing completion. I think I've, I think I've got one more drum track to do And that's it. It'll be great. Really excited to hear it Awesome, so fairly chilled out week, not a lot happening, but I thought I'd uh, keep you updated anyway. That's what these vlogs are all about, aren't they? It's not all going to be crazy every week. Cool, cheers.